Now, Emily, a first for the property POV, mm-hmm. a guest calling in live. We do, we do. So, Steve, please introduce yourself. Give us a little bit of uh, background as to who you are. And um, we've obviously said as well that you're going to, we've got an extra special guest joining us on our summit. So, drum roll, it is Steve. Thank you very much. Hey. Nice to be here. <laughs> nice to see you, Emily and Ryan. How are um, you doing, Steve? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. So, uh, who am I? I'm a, I'm described as an achievement catalyst and otherwise known as a motivational speaker. And what I do is I empower my audiences to achieve the life that they want to live. And I do this by sharing my journey that took me from wheelchair to world champion and then beyond in business. So I'm really looking forward to your summit where I get to deliver my my keynotes, my opening keynote Mm -hmm. and empower everybody in the room to to go forward and achieve whatever it is their goals as i call it goals being an acronym for their goal their opportunity their love their dream whatever that might be and i found out through my processes and and my my talks that everybody's got different things that they want to achieve some personal some professional um it could be academics it could be sport health wealth happiness happiness is usually a, a key one people want to be happy so it's very much about what makes people happy and once they find out what that is then you know empower them to actually take action because you no know, that's the the key to achievement the fundamental key to achievement is action so i will empower them uh to to do that so i'm really looking forward to it oh we're, we're so excited because i guess up into up to date you know we we've had other people coming in talking about property their experiences we've never had someone i guess that's outside the realms of um I guess the 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 circuit, let's say, mm. in terms of, of 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 someone who is a property investor, and what I think is so amazing is your background and your story, because it is nothing but motivational, and yeah. it's about that. We 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 talk a lot about mindset and property, and everything that you've done is about mindset. It is about mm. overcoming yourself to yeah. to have a vision, have a goal. That absolutely, and I think. You know, I do struggle with it sometimes. A lot of people say they, they hear my story, my journey, um, you know, going through my rehabilitation where it was pain, just a lot of pain during the physio, growing my leg back um, bit by bit and learning to stand again, learning to walk again on crutches, gritting my teeth, pushing myself through those pain barriers. And people say to me, I don't think I could have done that, Steve. Wow, you're amazing. I could, And I'm like, really? Because I, I think when you're in that situation, you click into another gear. I certainly did. You go into mm-hmm. a survival mode uh, initially. You know you got to eat and and sleep and breathe and just just survive. And then it's like, what do I have to do to achieve my goal? And my goal was to to stand and to to walk. And the physios and they they said you need to do all these exercises. I'm like, okay, I'll do that then. I'll I'll do all these exercises because that will get me towards my goal. And that's the bit that I don't understand that other people, they're, they're telling me that they wouldn't be able to do that. I'm like, well, why would you not be able to do that? If that's what you want to do, then that's the mindset thing, I guess, of you just, you do you get off and, and you go and do it. If you don't want to do it, then that's absolutely fine. But you're saying that you do want to do it. You do want to stand, you do want to walk. So do the physio. You know. And I guess it's not easy. But at the end of the day, if your goal is big enough, and that's why it's so important to know what you want, what will make you happy. Is it money? Is it spending time with your family? Is it going on holiday? Is it being fitter and healthy? What is that thing that gets you really excited, gets you out of bed at half five in the morning, gets you to, you know, maybe you're a little bit embarrassed to share with other people because it's such a crazy idea. Um, but, you know, that's the thing. That's the thing that you need to talk about more to yourself, to other people, get a vision board, draw a picture, just get it out of your head and focus on that thing every single day and work towards it every single day. I don't think that's a hard thing to do. That's what you really want. So it's finding out what you really want. Oh boy. Well, this, if this was an insight to what's going to happen, this is it. This is it. There's so much I want to talk about in there. And Emily has introduced me to, to your work and I'm so, so keen to hear more about it because she, she's told me the story and I don't want to spoil it for everybody that's going to come along to the, to the summit later. And I just said, no, I wouldn't, I just wouldn't do it. And so it's so interesting to talk to you, Steve. And I, and I want to learn more about this. This is going to be great going forward. Absolutely. It is going to be really good. And I would call it more of a, a performance. I think as I've gone through, Mm. I've been speaking for eight years now, it starts off with a keynote and a story, and it's all about storytelling. But as time's gone along, 
I've realized to be a professional speaker, you've got to give more. Yeah, I'm always asking what more can I do? And it is the highs and the lows. It is the stagecraft. It is the takeaways. It is the humor. It is the actor. It is the, the props. It's everything. And so it is is a performance and everybody's going to really enjoy it. They're going to take away different bits. And I've heard people say that they've, they've heard me three times and they love it every single time. They pick up different things, like watching your favorite film uh, over and over <laughs> again or your favorite song. So yeah, it's going to be a great, great event, definitely. But I think that's the same. You know, you, you hear what you need to hear at that time. And I'm, I'm very much in, in favor of that when you're reading books that yeah. I've heard you speak, Steve. So, I, you know, I'm coming from this from I know exactly, I know the story, I know what you, what you present. And there's always you're always going to take something out of it because you hear what you need to hear at that moment. And yeah. whether that's a case of going, right, this is exactly what I need to do to go, oh, do you know what? I have been making excuses. Yeah. I have, haven't have been prioritizing um, solutions that we need to create. I have been sitting there going, oh, I can't do that because... And sometimes we just need a little bit of a kick to go, yeah. do you know what? Get on with it and you know, come up with that vision. And I think, I'm going to say that sometimes I think it's scary for people. It's yeah. scary to really look at yourself and call yourself out and, you know, come up with, with amazing goals. And I think in your scenario, when some, you know, that lady was comparing saying, I can't do that. You're kind of looking at that going, well, do you know what? Walking is the big, biggest, mm. most difficult challenge there ever could be. Everything else is just a case of get on and do it. Yeah, no, it, it is so true about taking the action. And and that's what I do. I don't like telling people what to do. Um, nobody likes being told what to do. So I'm not one of those speakers that will do that. I will uh, allude to it, but I will generally just talk about me. It's all about me. I will tell my story. But what I really like doing is just now and again, just twisting it around saying, what about you? Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. This is what I'm doing. This is what I did here. What are you doing to work toward your goal? That thing that you really want, that thing that you you know was thinking about at the beginning, whether it's a property portfolio, whether it's the health or the wealth or it's the family. What are you doing to work towards that? Anyway, back to me, back to my story, and then I go on to the next bit, and then it gets to another stage and say, well, again, what are you doing? And it just gets people to think that yeah, okay, it's all about me, but I want them to take something away from it, and I want them to have that penny drop moment. That's why I'm called an achievement catalyst. I don't want anybody to go through what I've been through. Mm -hmm. um, so my, my job, my role is to tell my story in the best way possible so that people can live through my pain and my, 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 my drama and come out the other side and make that change. Think, right, I'm going to do something different now. And that's what I want. It's, I, I understand I will inspire and motivate and it, that's great and it's lovely. But I also know that that will only last about 48 hours. Mm. And then you will go back to normal, back to where you were. So within that 48 hours or immediately if you can, take action. Start that new routine. Google that thing. YouTube that thing. Ask for help. Reach out. Take action and embed something within that 48 hours. And that's how change is going to happen. That's when the catalyst is going to really like kick in. Uh, and, and if they don't do that, then it's, it's, it's not, I don't want to say it's a waste of time, but I really want to mm. take that action. That's so important. I think, you know, it, knowing that that's from your experience and obviously the psychology of all that kind of stuff, you know, this is, this is what you do. This is not just a kind of nice thing on the side. Mm. This is your job to inspire, motivate people. If you, you know, if you know that that theory is saying, get it done in 48 hours, then what's your excuse for not doing that thing in 48 hours? And it, is it a case that, you know, their dream is just not big enough, strong enough, powerful enough to make them want yeah. to do it? I, I totally agree with that. The dream is not big enough and powerful enough. And you just think, why is it not? And maybe that's not the real dream. Um, so dig down deeper. And I have to accept that sometimes it, for, for people, it's difficult to know. A lot of people say, well, I, don't, I haven't really got any goals. And I, I smile and think, you really? You seriously? You've got no goals at all? But the thing yeah. is with that is that, I call them goals. Other people don't call them things. So we used to do this activity with my kids every new year. We used to get a piece of paper and say, what are your goals this year? And they're quite young. And year by year, they said, Dad, we don't really like doing this anymore. <laughs> I said, OK, maybe this is a little bit forceful. So I said, well, OK, let's, here's a piece of paper. Just write down the things that you want to do this year. What do you want to do more of? They are, oh, we want to go more cycling, we want to go swimming more, we want to have our friends over more, we want to go to the zoo, I uh, want to go on holiday. Oh, that'd be really nice to see family. And they were making a list of things that they wanted to do that year. To me, that's the list of goals. 
Yeah. It's just totally. it just depends what you call it. So call it a different thing if you want to, but still get something, get that stuff out of your head and get it down on paper or get it out so that you can see it and then you can start working towards it. They're there's, there's, called goals. There's something to be said about those physical things and, and, and wants that you, you, you want to have. But also I found if I'm struggling to figure out what it is I want, uh, f- figuring out how I want to feel. Yeah. I want to feel excited. I want to feel joy. I want to feel love. I want to feel happiness. Yeah. And if, if that's the goal, then what are, then then the things that that are going to uh, help you achieve that will come forward. And and also on, on the back of that, Steve, um, is there a difference here? And in, in that I feel <clears throat> some people have to force themselves to set goals and to to force themselves to do things because they are comfortable. They're in a and in a good the the golden handcuffs as they say. They maybe have a decent life. And I feel where your story really hits me is that you were projected into this situation where you were forced to have to do what you needed to do to walk again. Is there a difference there? And and can can you really get that that motivation with not having the the devastation that you you've been through to the, 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 that 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 catalyst, if you will, if if, mm-hmm. if uh, to to push you to do what you needed to do? You were forced to do it. I was. So I I, I think you're you're absolutely right. You know, I was forced into that. I was maybe drifting through i call it like you know a flatlining through life uh, everything mm. was okay uh, yes. and i wasn't pushing myself that much and that's that was okay but then you know the accident happened and i had to like kick into survival mode and uh, exceed and achieve and i did and i grew my leg and then i went further in sport but it's a question that i like to ask people sometimes and it's like are you happy or complacent or both or neither and <laughs> yes. it takes time to think about it and some people say, "Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm. I guess I'm, I'm both. I'm happy and complacent." I said, "Okay, fair enough. Think about it some more if you want." For me, I'm very happy. I'm very smiling. I love doing my job, living the dream, global speaker, helping people, inspire. But am I complacent? No, no, I'm not. I have got so much more that I want to do. I'm so annoyed that there's only 24 hours in the day. You know, I get to the end of the day, it's like, "Oh my gosh, I didn't do all those things," or at the end of the week, or at the end of the month. And I'm not like stressing myself out, but there's so much that I want to achieve. I turned 50 last year and I, I, I see that as I've, I'm, I'm halfway and I was just like, wow, that's 50 years. I've achieved so much. What am I going to achieve in the next 50 years? How exciting is that? What more do I want to do? At the moment, when talks about a feature length film about my journey, how exciting is that? That's a long way off. But oh my goodness, we're taking steps, very small ones at the moment. But eventually, can you imagine in five, 10 years time to have a feature length film on Netflix or, you know, on, on Prime or Hollywood, I don't know. But it's just having that idea because if I'm not doing that, if I'm saying, no, I'm complacent, I'm, I'm absolutely fine where I am. I'm like, really? So you don't want to be any fitter. You don't want any more money in the bank. You are okay with your car. Your house is fine. Really? You're just complacent. And I just think, I, don't, I think you're kidding yourself if somebody says that. So you just need to ask yourself the question. Oh, this, this leads me to something that I think is kind of controversial. And I want, I'd, lo- I'd love your take on <laughs> it, Steve. Steve here in we the go. deep end here. <laughs> here we go. Uh, so I have I've truly believe in not saying to my kids, and to, I've got, we've got young children, a 10-year-old, a 4-year-old, um, I truly believe not telling them that they're okay the, how they are. They're okay with the way they are. Because I, I think it, it sort of kills the need to do anything else. If they're okay how they are, the way they are today, then you sort of you're taking that potential, you're taking that motivation out. Because I see them. Here's the here's the thing. That's the bad news. Here's the good news. I see them as a bag of a potential. And so, how, how dare I say you're okay the way you are? It's I see it as if you're not okay the way you are. You could be doing so much more. You could be so much more. And I believe in it. And I see you do it. I I I feel that we need to tell people. No, you're not okay the way you are. <laughs> it's, it's that kind of like pushy parent vibe thing. It's like and it's, it's seen as oh, don't push your kids, and it's like no, push them, push them to achieve and do well and succeed. Absolutely, especially but, but, young people because it's you, you've got that potential. Yeah, and, and again, it's finding out what they want to do. Now, as kids, they haven't got a clue in a way. So, as a, as a parent, I I get them to do lots of things. Uh, I'm heavily involved in scouting, so let them do. Um, climbing, rock climbing and walking and hiking and camping and lighting fires and they also did swimming and they did rugby and ballet. They did a variety of things and now that they've grown up, they're 16 to 19, they can choose what they want to do and they can exceed in that. And I think it's, that's what you do as adults. You know, I've had a goal of growing my leg. I've had a goal of becoming a world champion. I've had, I've got a goal now of running my business, just survival through the pandemic and stuff like that. 
but I have a goal of being a bigger and more inspirational global speaker. That's my goal at the moment. And I can be better at that. I am not trying to get better at doing, running a 5K. I've done that mm -hmm. and now I've moved on. I'm not trying to do lots of things because I've moved on. But there's always something that I can get better at. And I think that's the same for kids, you know, finding out what they want to get better at. Do they want more friends? Do they want to win sports day? Do they want to do well at maths? I don't know. Just have a chat with them and find out what they want to do better at and then work towards that. So it's not pushing. It's just supportive. I love the long term vision. Sorry that you're talking about 50 years because I was saying this to Emily the other day. People overestimate what they can do in a year and underestimate what they can do in five. Yeah. I think that's really true. And so in five years' time, we're going to see you on Netflix and we're going to see you on Amazon Prime with the, with the movie. I can't wait yeah, for that. That's going to be awesome. Yeah. Absolutely. We're, 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 I'm literally, today, I'm going to be setting up a crowdfunding page to, to raise money so we can do the short film, which is going mm. to be a 15-minute short film uh, of my journey, which will only take out to a certain point. We've already got the yeah. script. Um, so once we raise the money, once we produce the 15-minute, that's going to be like a showcase to... to to push out and people to see the potential and that's when the the big producers will see and go wow we're gonna make you a star and they're gonna <laughs> deep money into it and it's good i love it and it's it's one of those things where it seems a little bit crazy and even i'm a little bit embarrassed about sharing it but if i don't share it nothing's gonna happen and the more people i share it with the more people say do you know what i've got a contact in yorkshire uh, film industry or i've got yeah. this person or i know this person that got lots of money and they love films i'm like oh, this is great if i never said anything then nothing would happen I love the fact that you said that you're a little embarrassed to to share it. I I love that, and I think that's so important because because it, it is embarrassing when you put yourself out there or beyond what you thought was normal. And I think for any of the people who listen into this, and we get stifled the whole time by our family, our friends, our our own mer our personal uh, perception yeah. of what's okay and what's not okay, and. And it's, yeah, we, we sometimes have those crazy ideas and, and you know, that links into what you're saying. You know, you had this goal and then you wanted a different goal and there's something you could be better at. You don't have to do the same thing every single time. Chain, it changes and you have bigger ideas, crazy ideas, but you don't know what will happen unless you start going for them. And I think that's amazing even just to hear that that's, that's a thought you have. You know, it is a bit like... I don't know, it's fear a little bit, isn't it? Of just going, what happens if it doesn't work? What, do you know what? Who gives a hoot? Because as long as you're continuously striving and you've got that ability to set goals and go after them and put in the action and the effort to do your damnedest to make it happen, as long as you can look at yourself and go, I gave everything to that, yeah. then do you know what? You've still succeeded in something. Well, it's one of my main messages in, in life, I guess, which is, sounds a bit deep. But it is about having no regrets. And that means that sometimes I'm afraid you won't achieve that thing that you're working towards, but you'll get pretty damn close. And the fact is, as long as you've got no regrets, as long as you say, look, I did everything I could, I reached out, I did this, I did that, I had 24-hour days, I blitzed it, and this is the result, then the result is the result. It's when you say, oh, do you know what, I didn't get that, I could have done more. I could mm. have done this, I could have done... Well, you're an idiot then. Why didn't you do more? I don't understand <laughs> So it's about, and that's not easy, it's getting to the end of the day and asking yourself, how's today gone? Yeah, it's been good. To be honest, I spend a bit too much time on social media. I regret that. Okay, well, that was a blip. Let's not do that tomorrow. Let's let's make sure, because when you get to the end of the day and you ask yourself, you say, oh, it's been awesome. I've worked really hard. I've played really hard. Met my friends. Had a really good time. No regrets. It's been a really good day. What a lovely day. And to, to let your head hit the pillow, knowing that you've done everything you could do that in, that, in that time that you had available is really good. Do that again the next yeah. day, the next day, the next day, the next week. And lo and behold, you will achieve. And it's all about having the no regrets. Amazing. Steve, I can't wait. I'm so excited. <laughs> so he's joining us for our, yeah. our next our summit. Which yeah, our on... next summit. So this is on October 12th um, and it's a Saturday. It's down in Kegworth, so easy access from the M1. Um, and it's going to be a day absolutely filled, uh, filled with 
first of all, Steve, your 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 inspiration, your motivation and learning, networking. We just we want this as a whole day of people just leave that room going, my God, I'm going to get on and smash some goals and, and, and go put into practice all that stuff I've been talking about. So, Steve, we're so excited to have you coming along to that. We're so excited to have you there and be able to share your story and um, yeah, have a bunch of people who have probably never heard your story really, you know, hear something new hear that, that kind of the motivation that you can share and then also get the opportunity to chat with you as well through, through the day in the day. So I'm um, really excited to have that happen. Absolutely. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, to me, when I'm speaking on the stage, to me, it's my Christmas day. You know, as running a business, I spend a lot of time in front of the computer doing admin and marketing and lead generation, blah, blah, blah. But on that day, the 12th of October, I'll be jumping out of bed, my toes will be tingling, and I get to do the thing that I love doing, performing on the stage, inspiring, motivating, empowering your audience to achieve the life that they want to live. It's going to be awesome. Can't <laughs> wait. So excited. Steve, Amazing. thank yeah. you for joining us today. Yeah. And um, I'm sure you'll you'll hear some more from um, all of us before that event. And uh, we'll see all our listeners on the day for that. Excellent. I'll see you then. See you then. Thanks, Steve.